If you do actually get these encounters, your run is basically blessed by Allah himself. Parasect, this moan was so good that Supercell had to change the encounter chance, it went from 50% to 20% in Mount Tunnel. Big P gets access to dry skin, leech life stab and later on sappy seed. Golduck, the 70% fishing encounter chance. The duck gets access to one of the most important abilities in hardcore mode, Cloud9 although we're gonna be using it with Swift Swim in the Perma Rain Weather vs Misty. The newly buffed Shiftry. If you've played Radical Red for a while now, you probably know about the Wind Rider ability which makes your moan basically immune to all these wind moves. Not only that, you also get a plus one boost in attack if you do get hit by one so Shiftry holding Rostberry is quite the counter for Mantine. And lastly Krikatoon, still the goat of early game, I intentionally put these moves which will always make the AI switch in Toxicroak after unaliving Politoed. Let's talk real quick about the post KO AI switch. First, according to the 3P theory, the post KO AI switch does not care if it has a move that can OKO the player's moan, which is a big change as back then the AI used to get a score of plus 4 if it can OKO the player's moan. Now according to the switch in scores code, credits to Satai. If the AI's moan resists or is immune to all of your moves, that's a score of plus 17. If the AI outspeeds your moan, that's a score of plus 14. If the AI can wall your moan, that's a score of plus 2. If the AI is weak to one of your moves, meaning a 2 hit KO move, that's a score of minus 1. Also, the score obviously can't go below 0. Lastly, if the AI can get OKO'd by one of your moves, that's a score of minus 14 at least. We are not sure at all for the exact score. Now with this info, let's try it out against Misty. For Misty, I lead with Citrus Berry Cricketune. The AI seems to always go for Toxic so I easily 2 hit KO. Let's find out why does the AI always switches in Toxicroak. Starting with Ludicolo, it can outspeed so it gets a score of plus 14. But since I have a move that can OKO, the score is back to zero. Mantine also outspeeds Krikatoon so it gets a score of plus 14. But since I have a move that can 2 hit KO, the score is now plus 13. But let's say I had a second move that can 2 hit KO Mantine, the score would still stay as plus 13. Clodsire does not outspeed but resists all of our moves except Bullet Seed. I think that the AI always counts the Bullet Seed move to be 5 hits. So Bullet Seed is a 2 hit KO move to the AI, meaning the Sire would have a score of minus 1 but since that doesn't exist, it's really just 0. Starmie gets a score of plus 14 as it's faster but since I have a move that can OKO, the score is now 0. Lastly, Toxicroak should get a score of plus 14 for outspeeding. I've done this fight a hundred times now and it's always Toxicroak that comes out. If you want to see it for yourself, all the save files and team sets are in the description. Also, feel free to use Satai's Radical Red Damage Calculator. It has the switch in scores logic implemented to the site. This always sets up so I get a free switch to Golduck. Once Sucker Punch is disabled, the AI will hard switch to Starmie as it resists all our moves. I click me first as I want to make sure that Starmie is full HP. So why does the AI hard switch back to Toxicroak? Simply because the AI has a function that predicts moves. Since my current best possible move against Starmie was Scald, the AI hard switches to Dry Skin Toxicroak. But what if I predict the hard switch and I go for OKO Zen Headbutt? Then this function would activate and since the player didn't do what was expected, the AI would completely stop following the switch in scores logic. Meaning every moan would not even have a score of 0, the AI just wouldn't use the switch in scores logic. So if I predict and go for the OKO on Toxicroak, the next moan would be completely random which I do not want at all. As we can just take the free me first OKO on Starmie.
I don't want to make this video an hour long, so short answer, just click me first twice. So why does Misty switch and Starmie here? Ludicolo, Mantine, Claude Sire, Starmie does not outspeed Swift Swim Duck so they all get a score of 0. Starmie gets a score of plus 17 for resisting all of Golduck's moves meaning every move that does damage is a 4 hit KO or more. If one move is a 3 hit KO, then the score would have been 0. This is why I kept Starmie at 100% HP. After unaliving Starmie, the AI would now randomly switch in one of the mons left as they all have the same switch in scores. Anyways with these encounters, what comes out next wouldn't matter at all as you have the a la run. Also, if you didn't know, you can actually get Dream Balls now using pickup ability. You can grind for it the old way by just unaliving Root 1 mods. It can't be an Apeshio guide without an Illumise spamming Encore. I definitely got the hidden ability Prankster Illumise for the second team that I want to showcase against Misty. And for the fishing encounters, as you'll see in the following fights, I went for the Route 4 Magikarp which will then make the Cloister a 100% guaranteed encounter in Route 21 and the Chincho in Route 6. In Route 25, instead of Chincho, there's a Squawkabilly that is pretty good and the 10% Charcadet is not bad as well. So with the Illumise team, I use the same lead and the same me first strat. AI switches in Mantine so I pivot Citrus Berry Lantern. I intentionally put moves that are all resisted slash immune by Clodsire so I know that this might switch and in case it doesn't, the AI will be clicking HP Grass which could get encored by Prankster Illumise. The Sire could either go for Toxic or Poison Jab so I pivot Arbok. Hecha Berry Cloister has Shell Armor, I'm just using it as a pivot for the minus 2 attack strat.
Let's find out real quick why does the AI hard switches into Ludicolo. Ludicolo and Mantine gets a score of plus 14 for outspeeding Arbok. I intentionally removed Crunch and Poison Jab simply because those moves are two hit KOs on Ludicolo. For Mantine though, I kept Thunder Fang which is a two hit KO move, thanks to the item Magnet. Meaning Mantine would be left with a score of plus 13. Thanks to the guaranteed Paralyze, it's way easier to unalive Ludicolo. Mantine comes out and I pivot Lantern. AI decides to stay so I encore HP Grass and get rid of Wake and Berry. Unsurprisingly AI pivots Clodsire which is fine thanks to the minus 2 attack strat. After unaliving Mantine, the fight's pretty much over.
For Team Rocket Dig Grunt, I lead with a zoom roll for the free OKO. Raticate comes out, I always live a crit so I just take the free 2 hit KO. AI switches in Crobat, as a counter I got the Tenacruel. AI hard switch to Veluza so I pivot Mighty Enna for immunity and OKO. Next for Cerulean Rival, I lead with Azumarill. The AI always hard switches to Wartortle here. The turtle will either set up or go for hidden power, it's completely RNG. AI switches in our box so I pivot Berserker for immunity and fake out. As a counter for Simiseer, I got Tenacruel, this moan has been to most of the fights, it's pretty good. Clefable comes out and also I've noticed that the AI really likes to lower your speed first and then it'll click the best move possible. I do get some chip damage off Clefable so that Poison Barb Mighty Anna or Arbok can easily OKO. I click on Glare first as I know that the AI will just hard switch to intimidate Arbok. Now that it's paralyzed, it's way easier to unalive the snake. I have never seen Eevee do the Z move, I think the code for it is broken. After getting rid of the snake, this fight is pretty much over. For the Nugget Bridge boss fight, I lead with Cloud9 Golduck. I click on Icy Wind twice as the AI always pivots Strutagon.
Once I'm poisoned I know that the AI will start spamming Dragon Tail so I pivot a zoom roll for immunity and OKO. Komala the menace comes out, I always live a crit so I go for play rough and I finish it off with Berserker. Against Arcanine, I just pivot Golduck for resistance and OKO. OK As a counter for Toga tomorrow, I got the best starter. This fight is just like a random mob, the 4th nugget trainer with big greed and should have been the 5th trainer. For last rally, I lead with bold tenacruel holding citrus berry so that I can always make the AI hard switch after I acid spray. This will set up first so I get a free minus 2 special defense on the big chungus. The AI will click stomping tantrum so I pivot cricketoon for resistance and bug bite. Finally I unalive greedent using aurora beam cloister. For the rest of the trainers, they're basically mobs.
Every team sets and save files of every fighter on my website if you ever need them. Find out with me if it's possible to do a guaranteed deathless newslock of Radical Red 4.0 in this series of hardcore mode AI newslock strategies. Hope I was able to help you. Thanks for watching.